moving forward, and hopefully everybody's still seeing my screen, um, Spike has four different measurement capabilities that we want to make you aware of. The first one is target distance. Because Spike's a laser range finder, it knows how far back you are. So it gives you that offset distance. That is also a very key component to the measurement science behind Spike, which is photogrammetry. Then there's also target location. So we do actually capture the GPS location, the lat long and altitude of not only where you are positioned with your spike device, but also the target you're pointed at. So this allows you, for example, to import files into Google Earth and see the positioning. <clears throat> Our third measurement capability, which is the most popular used one, is called photo measurement. And that allows you to capture both area and linear measurements on the same plane. So in this photo example here, if you're measuring the exterior of this building, you can measure the different areas, different heights, widths, lengths, and footage. So that is our photo measurement capability. It does have an accuracy of plus or minus 1%, meaning it's not a 100% precise tool, but it is a very good tool for taking measurements and having a very good accuracy. Then the fourth one is point to point. Uh, which allows you to measure, measure the distance between two objects that are not on the same plane. So what if you need to know how far a light pole is to the side of the building or a tree to the side of a house? You can quickly snap two photos and know the distance between those two points, all with um, plus or minus 3% accuracy. All right. So the way to look at Spike is that it is a site survey and estimation tool. As I mentioned, it's not a precision tool. We call it an estimation tool. So it's all about getting those upfront measurements that you need for a design or ad built, an inspection report, a sales order, a work order quote. That's when you want to bring Spike into your workflow. So it's often used in the very early stages of a project. With Spike, your time to measure is reduced to minutes. Uh, you can do your site surveys and all your measurements without pulling out a ladder, tape measures, measuring wheel, and as you can see from this quote below, it significantly cuts down on the time it takes to measure a job. So in this instance, uh, this one user found that what used to take her 45 minutes to measure a typical job is now only five minutes. Uh, so with Spike, you'll see this come to life during the demonstration, but you can measure areas, lengths, windows, height, residential, commercial projects, whatever measurements you need. Um, you can use Spike on interiors as well. You'll see a lot of exterior measurements. That's because a lot of the times exteriors are harder to measure or harder to reach. But you can just as well use Spike on interiors. As I mentioned, you can capture the distance between two objects with our point-to-point -point measurement tool, which I will be demonstrating. So this is a big benefit to using Spike. I was just talking to an architect yesterday who said one of the biggest values he sees in Spike is he doesn't have to return to the site to take additional measurements. So if you're back at the office and you're you know, slapping your head going, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to take that measurement, not a problem. With Spike, you can reopen that photo, whether it's on the mobile app or in our cloud, and you can retake those measurements. Spike also gives you the flexibility to measure when and how you want. So you have to capture the photo in the field with the Spike device in the mobile app, whether it's on your tablet or smartphone. You know, we have people say, can I import a photo into Spike? And the answer is no, you can't. It actually has to be captured with that Spike device attached because we need to know how far back you were positioned. And then from there, you can either measure from your desktop or measure from your mobile app. So you've got all this flexibility. You can re-measure from one or the other, upload, download from the cloud or from the app, however the workflow is that you'd like to set up. And then we do have a whole host of industry standard export formats, everything from PDF and JPEG to a KMZ file format, which I will be demonstrating. Um, and most recently, we developed uh, a new export format. It's a JPEG format called the Spike Scaled Image. And you can import that JPEG directly into AutoCAD and measure natively within AutoCAD. So as you can see here, what this is on screen is this is the spike photo. 
that red dot signifies where my laser was pointed. And Spike de-skewed or flattened out the photo. And it also scaled it so it's one-to-one. -one. As you can see here, the resolution is set to be a one-to-one -one format, meaning I can come into AutoCAD and draw this line and I have the exact measurement of that building width to scale. So really exciting. We've heard from architects um, and different AutoCAD users that a big pain point is having to de-skew photos in Photoshop. So you don't need to do that anymore. And not only that, you're not having to manually input measurements. All you have to do is draw on the photo that you took with Spike. So it's saving a lot of that upfront time. Uh, this gives you an example of that. So there's my original photo on the left that I captured in the field with my iPad and Spike device. And then here's the JPEG I exported from Spike. It's one-to-one -one scaled and de-skewed, as you can see in this photo. Uh, for those of you on the call who might be ARCHICAD users, know that this same JPEG does work with ARCHICAD like it does with AutoCAD. <clears throat> Spike has many benefits. Everything from cutting your costs, you don't need expensive tools necessarily for just getting um, those measurements at exterior, for example, on a project or just for an estimate. This leads to increased revenue. You can take on more projects because you are saving time and cutting costs. We talked a lot about saving time already. Um, for those of you who need to do quotes and estimates as part of your job, this helps you get back to your customer a lot faster because you can prepare that quote quicker using Spike. There's definitely a professionalism angle to Spike. Um, instead of using a piece of paper to jot down measurements in a tape measure, the fact that you're gone completely digital and you've got all your measurements right there on an iPad or smartphone makes for a really professional, professional image. More productivity of your team. Maybe you don't need three people to go on site and measure a job anymore. Only one person can. Uh, safer field operations, you know, you can measure at a distance. Uh, Spike's a very powerful laser range finder, and you can step back up to 650 feet. So you can be positioned in a safe position um, and avoid, for example, construction ladders or who knows what, what's happening on the job site. Uh, improved reporting. Uh, if a report is part of your job, uh, a lot of people enjoy the photo verification piece of Spike. The fact that you can show a photo with the measurements on it to verify the job or justify the cost and the quotes. Um, in general, we found that a typical ROI for users is three to five uses of Spike. So it's very fast. On the right here, you'll see a quote from an architect who believes, uh, who does a lot of remodeling and renovation projects on residential exteriors. So he says it used to take an hour to measure a house exterior, now only 10 minutes, and then he goes into um, AutoCAD and is able to start working on his as built. So we've got lots of success stories. Here's just another quick one from a, um, a custom home builder who just couldn't believe how exciting it was to use Spike and how it really changes how quickly he's able to get a quote to a customer, and how not only him, but his designer or architect is able to use those spike images as well. All right, give me one moment while I switch over into my demo mode with my iPad. So you've got you should all see, hopefully this is all still working, the screen share is still working. This is the Spike mobile app here on an iOS device. So I'm going to tap on the Spike mobile app, and the first thing you have to do is connect the device. So the Spike device just connects via Bluetooth. I'm going to hit the power button, and then my Spike mobile app is going to see the device, and it's going to connect. And it's as simple as that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a photo of an object I want to measure. So to do that, you tap on New Photo Measurement. And I am in a conference room. I wish I was outside of a home, for example, to give you a better example. Um, what you see on the screen here is my distance. So I am 14 feet, 11 inches, 2 inches back from this spike banner. 
This is really important that you pay attention to that distance that's being shown on the screen because it ensures that your laser is pointed at the object you want to measure. Let's say you're outside of a retail strip mall or even a home and you need to measure the windows. Well, Spike is a laser. It's going to go right through the window. And how I can tell is it's saying I'm 31 feet 7 inches away. Well, I know that I am not that far away. And I can tell because as I go to the frame, the reading's going to change to 11 feet 10 inches. So this means my laser is going right through the window. Well, that would significantly impact the accuracy of my measurements because now Spike is measuring off of some object out in the distance. So keep that in mind. The key to Spike is always have the laser pointed at the surface you want to measure and it's not pointed at something um, transparent or reflective. So I'm going to go back to my banner now and I'm going to snap my photo. What's great with Spike is once you've taken that photo, you can measure anytime you want. So if you are really busy and you've got a lot of measurements to take on the job site, just snap away, making sure you point at each plane that you want to measure, whether it's a pillar, a window, a second story, the building next door, so you've got some contextual references. Make sure you take all those photos. And then you can wait till you're back at the office to take all your measurements. Let's say, though, you're ready to take your measurements now. You're going to pull up that photo you just took. And the first thing you have to do is correct for angles. You don't want uh, a trapezoid effect happening with your measurements, if you will. So let's say you're pointed at a third story of a building. Well, you don't want, you know, the, the, this, the, the rectangle will no longer look rectangle, look a little bit like a trapezoid. Well, the last thing you want is your measurements to be reflecting a trapezoid. So to fix that, so you've got four, you know, your equal size, your equal parallel size, you're going to take these corners and you're going to drag them to outline a rectangle on the surface. In this case, I'm going to use this banner and drag those corners. All right, you can see there was a little zoom window that I was using. Uh, so I've outlined my rectangle. Now I know that my measurements are going to reflect this correct rectangle. I'm not going to have any trapezoid effect issues. Uh, my accuracy is going to be significantly improved. I'm going to tap on next. I'm going to zoom in. Let me remove that so you can see what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in and now I'm going to tap and drag in order to outline this banner and take my measurements. Same thing, I'm going to drag these corners to measure the, out, the exterior of this banner. I can move each point individually or I can lock the rectangle ratio and then everything moves in tandem like this. So it makes it a lot easier if you're drawing a lot of rectangles. Let's say you're measuring a lot of windows, you can lock that. So what you see on the screen now is my height and width and my square footage have been instantly calculated for me in real time. Now what if I'm not measuring a rectangle shape? I can add points and I can draw whatever shape it is I need to measure. So I can add and remove points to simulate and outline whatever polygon I need to measure and have for my report, for my design, whatever it is. I can measure additional areas. I tap on the lower left-hand corner here, and I can come in and draw additional rectangles, as many as I need, in fact. Um, let's say I don't need a rectangle. I just need some sort of linear measurement. I come into the Length tab. Now, my area measurements have been cleared from the screen to make it neater, but they're not gone. So now I can come in and draw a line. And let's say I just want to measure that height right here. So that's really good if you need to measure the height oh, I don't know, of a wall, for example. You just need a quick linear measurement, not a problem. You can capture that with Spike. You can do smaller ones as well. Um, I forgot to measure, mention units of measurement. So with Spike, you can measure in all inches, feet in inches, centimeters, and meters. And you can toggle those in the settings. So here I am. I'm in feet and inches right now. I could always exit this, change my unit of measurement back to, to meters, for example, come back to the photo and the measurements would now reflect uh, the metric. I'm going to hit save now that I'm done. 
And you'll see there's an edit button in the upper right hand corner so I can remeasure if any time I want. I can view the details of the measurement I took. So I can see that overall main area, the additional areas I drew, the different lengths I did, uh, my target distance, that's how far back I was from that banner. Uh, good if you need to know offsets, as I mentioned earlier. And then latitude, longitude, and altitude of both where my phone was located and the target I was pointed at. As far as exporting goes, I'm going to hit on the export button. And immediately from here, I can export a PDF or the photo, which is a JPEG with the measurements on it. <clears throat> what I like to recommend is actually uploading to our Spike Cloud, which I'm going to do now. And I will be transitioning to the Spike Cloud shortly here. Um, the Spike Cloud is where you can export that one-to-one -one scaled and, and DSKU JPEG, excuse me, that I mentioned earlier. That's in our Spike Cloud. That way you can download it from your desktop and immediately import it into AutoCAD, for example, ArchiCAD, Illustrator, whatever design software you are using. Now, before I get to the cloud, let me show you that other measurement feature, which is the point-to-point -point measurement tool. This is great if you need to measure uh, two objects in space that are not on the same plane. So as I mentioned, the distance between a tree and the side of the house. Or even you quickly need to know what is it from the ground up to the third story so I quickly know what kind of equipment I'm going to need to bring back, you know, a bucket truck, a ladder, scaffolding, whatever you need. So um, in this instance, you'll see that the screen will prompt me to hold steady. My arms are going to act like a tripod. Once it is steady, the screen will turn green and go ahead and snap your first photo. Then you rotate uh, your arms to the second location and snap the second photo. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to measure the height of this wall. So I'm going to point at the floor in the corner of our office here. And the whole steady messaging has gone away, so I'm going to snap a photo. I'm going to rotate to the upper corner now, snap a second photo. And Spike is telling me the distance between those points is 7 feet 8 inches. So keep in mind, it's the distance between those exact two points. So you want to be careful where you position those points. All right, I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to go back here and quickly show you um, all the photos we took are stored in your gallery. So I've got a whole host of images here that you can see that I've taken. You can create folders. Um, so I've got my CSDS webinar here. Everything is saved there. Um, so really nice for organization. You could organize by date, uh, by project name, however you would like. And then over here in the settings is how you toggle between feet, inches, meters, and centimeters. It's also how you create the free cloud account. You simply need an email and a password. All right, with that, I'm now going to switch back over to the cloud and demonstrate that for you. <clears throat> so the way the cloud works is you go to our website, which is ikesgps.com, and you'll go to the customer login section at the top of the page. Then you will click on Spike. It's that easy. So no software to download. And what you do is then you land upon the cloud, which looks very similar to our mobile app. You've got foldering. You can do all your measurements. And you can do all your reporting as well. So if I load this up, here's the measurement that I just took today. So I can open up that photo that we took earlier. And I can delete points. I can remeasure by dragging these points around. So really handy. Then I can go into the report section and I can download the PDF, which you see here, as well as those different JPEGs that I was mentioning. But let me show you a real example. I'm going to go back into the gallery. And uh, let's say you are working on a strip mall. I think I had some different ones in here. Let's click on this one. So. Right here is that alignment step that I was mentioning. You always want to do this, whether you do it from the mobile app or the cloud. So as I mentioned earlier, you can take the photo while out in the field, upload it to the cloud, and do everything else here, including this alignment step. So I've drawn a rectangle, and then I can come in and take my measurements. In this instance, I was remeasuring the sign. But what if I need to measure that whole frontage area? I can come in, 
I can draw that line and get to know my frontage. I can draw a line from the top down to the sidewalk here. Uh, if I needed to measure these windows for a project, I would want to take a second photo and point that laser at a solid surface, maybe over here. If I needed to measure this pillar, I would point the laser at the pillar. Again, it's one photo per plane. So I just want to point that out here, depending what type of measurements you need for, let's say, an as-built. Make sure you're taking all those different photos. I've got a zoom window that's showing up here on the right side, and all my measurements here on the left. And then I'm going to go into report again and show you those different downloads. So if you're looking at doing something with AutoCAD, for example, this is the photo right here you download. It's been de-skewed, which explains these black bars. And it is now one-to-one -one scale. So you click on it, and you would just download that JPEG. All right. So let's get back to the presentation now. I've got just a few more things to show you before we open it up for questions. So as far as usability of Spike goes, we say there's three simple phases to do. Now, Spike is not entirely brain dead, but the learning curve is very small. There's the setup phase, which is simply attach Spike to your phone or tablet that you want to do, install and launch the app, and then do a one-time calibration, which is simply aligning the laser, that Spike device, with the camera of your phone or tablet. And then from there, it's taking the photo. As you saw, you point the laser at the surface you want to measure, you take that photo, and then up to you when it is you want to take your measurements. Then from there, it's draw that alignment rectangle. That is the, the one step I'm going to emphasize you don't want to skip. Then you draw all the measurements. There's no manual input. You can change your unit of measurements. You can do that in the cloud or the app. And then you can export your different file types. I made reference of this earlier in the presentation. Uh, there is actually a measurement science behind Spike. Some of you might already be familiar with the concept of photogrammetry. And the way it works with Spike is two pieces of information. Spike knows how far back I am, which provides the scale. And then there's the angle component. That alignment rectangle provides the perspective and corrects for angles. And then, of course, Spike knows camera and device information. And that's how it works. All right, so you might be wondering, great, now what? Well. I'd like to encourage you to learn more about Spike, so if we haven't answered your questions, please contact your local sales representative and they can ask you more, they can answer your questions, provide you with an in-person demo. We also have more information on our website. Uh, we encourage you to purchase the Spike and join our user community. So when you purchase Spike from California Surveying and Drafting, there is a 30-day money back guarantee. So you have those 30 days to go out there and test Spike. Everybody wants to get their hand on a spike, compare it to their tape measure, and so forth. Well, the good news is you do have that 30-day money back. Feel free to schedule a detailed tech review. As I mentioned, you know, meet with your local sales representative to talk more about your use case. So I've got all the information there. You've got our, the 1-800 number, as well as the contact page on the website.